Hi, my name is Mimi Gottschman, and my equestrian philosophy is to ensure success, you have to be kind and respectful to your animals always. Welcome to episode one of At Home with Mimi Gotchman. Hi Mimi. Hi, how's it going? It's going great. Thank you so much for welcoming us to your home stable here in Wellington, Florida, Baxter Hill. Thank you so much for having me. This is my favorite place on earth. Why don't we go check out the barns? Awesome. <laughs> So the hall we've just been walking through, this is the side where all of our horses are kept. Um, they all live down here and they have each individual stalls with their nameplates, which is really cute. Another really amazing part about being able to have our farm here at the horse show and, or close by to the horse show is that we have our own paddock space, which is super important. My family and I and our team really believe in turnout and how good it is for the horses to kind of have their own natural area where they can just be themselves and roll and play and of course you have to keep it safe for them but they really enjoy the paddock area and being able to be out almost all day so that's probably one of the best parts of the farm is that there's enough paddock space for all the horses to go out every single day when the weather is good which is absolutely incredible. <laughs> You began your equestrian career in hunters and equitation. What did you learn from this sport? Yeah, the hunters and equitation, I think, are actually super important for the development of riders. Um, in America here, we start usually on pony hunters, and I got the whole spiel of pony hunters. I mean, I did them for years, and I was lucky enough that my family was also super interested and competitive, so I actually got a lot of opportunities to be trained properly and kind of really learn a lot about the sport from an early age. Um, the ponies were amazing, and they teach you a lot. They're very spicy and sometimes they can have their own opinions, but ponies definitely teach you how to ride. I also started jumpers at an early age, which was super important and nice because I kind of got to see what there was to each discipline and um, I ended up as you know, following the jumpers, but I think that learning hunters and kind of the feel that comes with the hunters in equitation actually helps me develop my riding into the jumpers. So I think that all the disciplines kind of helped me develop and learn more about the sport, and I take little bits from each thing that I learned over the years. And as a kid, your parents would maybe drop you off at the horse shows. They would be there to support you, but it was kind of your second home and you had to learn how to bridle the horse yourself, how to go and compete yourself, and they had kind of a theory that they weren't going to help you with all these little details. You had to figure it out for yourself. Yeah, no, I think that that's super important. Um, the sport is not just about riding or winning or competing. It's definitely a lot about managing barn care, horse care, and like kind of learning all the back, back side of it and kind of what goes on at the barn or at home. And I think my parents and my mom especially has always pushed that for us and kind of always been like, ask the grooms questions, ask the team managers for questions, like figure out how to do your own schedule. I mean, we traveled early on from a young age and kind of taught ourselves how to manage our time properly, keep up with school, be at the ring on time and be clean and fully dressed and have all the right equipment. And I think part of the sport is actually learning organization and time management and how best to support yourself while also helping the team. and. It's always come back and check on the horses and clean your tack and make sure that everything's put in place before you leave. And I think my mom's always emphasized that for my sister and I and kind of taught us that it's not just about the riding, but there's so much more that you have to learn. And I'm always learning more every day. I'm definitely not perfect at it. And there's things that I'm trying to improve on every single day or learn more about. But um, it's actually, I think, super nice and important that my mom pushed that for us. And can you remember now that one of the first times you had a, a big success, you're so young, but you're already so successful in the ring. Do you remember when you, when you were jumping and then you had a win or you had this big success? 
Yeah, I think one of my earliest wins, like on a more international, or I guess this is a national competition, but on a higher level, was definitely NIYC back in 2019. I did it in the junior division. They have multiple divisions, and I was able to compete in the junior division, and I won individual gold there that week. And my sister actually won individual gold in her or in her level of with their different levels and she was in a different level and she also won and that was a really really cool and important weekend for the both of us um, and I, that kind of showed me that I could do this and that I could fight for it and if I worked hard enough that I could still be successful at this sport and I had a really amazing time. And it's there, it is 52-66, it's gold for Mimi Goshman, brilliant finish from her. Right the way, wire to wire, lead and finishing with the gold medal for Mimi with Selena BH. And it wasn't just this year that you won gold at NAYC. What does NAYC mean to you? It's such a special competition where you've been so successful. Yeah, NAYC is amazing because it brings all the top riders from every single part of the country in one place to compete against each other. And it's in a championship format in that you have to be consistently clear over multiple days. And that's definitely not an easy task. Amazing. And you were selected, such an honor, congratulations, Thanks. to compete at the Youth um, Equestrian Games in Aachen. What, did, what was the lead up to this? And then what was it like competing in Aachen? I mean, Aachen is the pinnacle of the sport. Everyone wants to go to Aachen. Everyone wants to compete there. And I hope to go back and compete on the US team one day. But um, I, it was an incredible experience. I mean, the facility is something that you've never seen ever. And it's definitely a lot of pressure. And it's one of the coolest places I've ever been. been. It's like Disneyland for horses is which, what people always say. And I think that I had an amazing time there. I learned a lot. Looking like it could well be an outstanding performance in the second round as well. Mimi Gochman gets her double clear. It's a clear round for North America. Fantastic round to kick things off for the North American team. It was something I'd never experienced before. I met kids and riders from all over the world that I'd never had an opportunity to meet. And I think that it's really cool to see the differences between my riding and their riding and the different techniques we all use. And I had an absolutely amazing time and I would do it again in a heartbeat. <laughs> and for people who don't know the format, you were you were drawn a horse right before the competition. You had to make this connection with the horse and then go into the international stage. Mm -hmm. How did you form this connection so quickly and what was it like with this specific horse? Yeah, I was super lucky to actually draw a really, really good horse. He had a very good heart and he wanted to compete well, which helps me out in my job and he was super sweet. They gave us a couple of times to ride them before we started to compete and kind of get to know them. And I always try to be very trusting to horses. I've been lucky enough to ride a lot of really great horses that I can trust that have my back and really give me their all. And I, I kind of took that approach to fully trust this horse and kind of give it the benefit of the doubt and ask it to do things for me. And, and he totally followed up with it and he was as game as I was. We could all see that there was such a strong connection that you developed with this horse on a small amount of time, but you're, it's very admirable as a young equestrian that you have this passion for making a connection. Would you say you include that in all of your horses here at home? Yeah, I think that the relationship with the horse is super, super important. And if you show them respect and love and care that they'll reciprocate it back to you and they'll always want to work harder for you in that way. And I think that's something I always try to do with any horse that I have, whether I've had it for six years or I've had it for one, is to kind of really bond with them, get to know them, get to know their personalities, because all the horses have some kind of personality just like humans do. They're all very different and unique and they have feelings as well. And if you kind of work with them and learn what their little quirks are and what they enjoy and what makes them happy, then they'll be willing to give you what you want. And it's a working relationship. There's give and take and you kind of have to be able to work well with an animal that can't communicate back to you and learn how they're feeling. And sometimes they're having off days, sometimes you're having an off day. And to understand that and work with it and kind of be kind towards them, even if they're not having their best day, because they're always going to be kind towards you if you're not having your best day. I think that understanding is super important. 
And as you said, you love when the horse shares its own personality and its own characteristics. Do you like when a horse is, what do you prefer when a horse is spicy in the ring, when they're maybe a little, little bit more shy? Yeah, I think that all horses have very cool elements of them and they all have good elements to them. And you're never going to find the perfect, like the horse that's the same as the one before or something. Like if you have a horse that you really, really loved, you'll never find the same thing again. But that's the same with humans, like I said. So just kind of understanding those. I always look for a horse that has good energy and a cool head and that wants to compete and wants to do well and jump the jumps clear. And I think that you can kind of see the fight in the horse when you ride them and you can understand when they're trying to fight for you or if they're not really trying to fight for you. And um, I always look for that kind of really good heart and brain on them. I'm so excited today. We've all seen her compete on the international stage, but to see her at her home and here in Wellington, let's go meet Selena and check out what she's like in everyday life. Perfect. <laughs> Hi, Selena. <laughs> Selena has been one of your top horses in the international ring as well as the national ring. Can you remember the first time that you ever sat on Selena and what that felt like? Yeah, I sat on Selena for the first time when I believe she was eight years old. And I mean, she has a very interesting jump. And I think that was the first thing I noticed about her. It's actually quite hard and she kind of flings her legs in different directions. Her hind end is insane and she really uses her body to jump. But I remember the first time I ever jumped her, I, I just thought, wow, this horse has incredible talent and she's very special. And you've had many horses up your pipeline. What set Selena apart from other horses you've had? I think Selena just tries so much harder than most horses would. I mean, maybe she doesn't have the most of everything that you could have in a horse, but she's got the heart to really give you everything and she's got so much talent that with those two things together she's just makes the most incredible horse from a lot of other horses and how do your personalities work together you also have strengths of your own you're very competitive you like to work hard yeah how do your you two combine well her personality is very diva queen she knows she's the best she knows she's the queen bee of the barn she kind of exudes very confident personality and she's very I know what I'm doing I'm the best one here and please leave me alone but I think that with me kind of giving her the space to be as amazing as she is I think that works well for her nice easy days and what did the journey look like from the first days riding her to now competing her on the international stage how did that journey grow I think that along with my trainers we always knew that she'd be special so we kind of targeted her towards those really important competitions and kind of growing um, and learning how to jump team competitions together she's the one that I've jumped all my team competitions on and she really understands the pressure of that and she knows how to rise to the occasion very well and it's been an incredible journey to watch you already this far in the arena what would you say has been one of your most memorable competitions so far with Selena, I think this summer we went to Spruce Meadows in Canada, which was my first time there, and it's definitely a different caliber of sport there. It's a very traditional horse show with a lot of history, and it's a really, really cool and special ring. And I had an absolute blast there, and I actually got my first five-star class win on her that this summer there, and that was super, super special. Um, she actually jumped the only clear round, and it was absolutely incredible. And to be able to win a five-star class like that in a really cool, a traditional, and very prestigious arena. It was absolutely incredible, and she really worked hard for that that day. And... Yes, all the way, 87, 55. Congratulations there to Mimi Gotchman, 18 years of age, and Selena BH and Mimi give us that first clear here in the Kubota Cup, and I tell you what, that could be good enough to win this today. Just two left to come behind you. Great ride. And you're so young, but you already have horses that are showing at such a high level and 
as you said, they're fighting for you. They're already, they want to win just as much as you do. Is Selena one of those horses where she's kind of your heart horse, she's made it possible for you? Yeah, for sure. I think that because we've had our relationship for so long that we've really been able to develop and learn each other. And I have the utmost respect for her. I mean, she's been the absolute most incredible horse I could ever, ever ask for. And I think it's not just about the wins, but the way that she has her personality that makes her go above and beyond. And I've been lucky enough to work with her for five years now, and I, I, I know nothing but good words to say about her. So, I mean, she's definitely been the horse of the lifetime, and I'm, I'm so grateful for her. Yeah, and especially for an equestrian, a fall or something scary at a, at a top competition, it can kind of rock your nerves, but you had so much trust with her, and, and you could tell the bond was so strong. Yeah, no, I think that that fall definitely kind of rocked the boat for me. It was something I... I was, it was a frightening fall and it wasn't something obviously planned. And I think that she kind of, she dealt with it very well. And, and if you're able to have that relationship with the horse where they know that if, since everyone was okay and healthy, that they know that they can keep competing at a high level, that it's really amazing. And she's always kind of game for it. And she, even if I make a big mistake, she always forgives me, which is really, really nice. <laughs> And besides Selena, you have a long string of horses here at Baxter Hill. Yeah. We're excited to watch you at WEF compete um, live, right, for Clip My Horse TV. Yes. And yeah, we can't wait. Maybe we can drive over to WEF together and, and watch you compete. Yeah, for sure. <laughs>